stage five, soaring to success. There's nothing quite like the song of the soar as it's gliding backwards and forwards through the wood, changing its pitch just near the end of the cut. To me, that's music. And you don't have to be strong or push hard. Soaring is a gentle art. There's several things to take into consideration when you're about to soar. In fact, there are four steps and I'll take you through these. But first, let's talk about the tools that you will need. Firstly, you'll need your tri-square and your tenon saw and your bench hook and a couple of scraps of wood. And I'll tell you about these in a moment. First, I just want to do an experiment. If you were to push your wood out over the edge and imagine sawing through that wood, what would happen when the saw was almost through to the other side? Yeah, it would splinter and break. So my point is that wood needs to be supported. And I have just the tool for that. It's called a bench hook. It's just made out of scraps of wood, very simple to make, and you'll find the directions on the Woodwork for Women website. 